Hey there, this is the Easy Webinar Support Team. I hope you're having a great day. Now we are back yet again with another video and this time we're going to walk you through how we can seamlessly integrate Easy Webinar in, into, you know, with one of the again popular crms which is active campaign now we'd recommend that before you go forward and watch this video uh, it would be great to have an active active campaign account of your own so for the sake of this presentation i have my account open on the screen so one of the first things you want to do is you want to click on the settings icon that is right in front of you in the left corner of the screen click on developer option and it will lead you to an api url and an api key but this is, is this isn't jargon i i should reassure you this is actually the API URL and key which you will need to establish an integration with you know between easy webinar and AC so please do note it down save it somewhere in your notepad because we are going to need it moving forward now with active campaign we are going to primarily create two things as you can see we are clicking on the contacts icon and that leads us to two different components that we want to establish we want to create in active campaign one is tags and the other is field now tags is uh, pretty much self-explanatory and it's really really easy to add a tag so you click on add tag and for, for testing purpose of the sake of this presentation let's give it a name testing 345 save it and your tag is created now creating field is also really simple but there's one caveat which you need to remember and remember going forward now when you click on the fields option you would see a number of uh, fields which are there already these are by default it's not you know customized by us so we'll just go ahead and add a field now please remember that the name of the field that you give here has to match the name of the custom field or the name of the custom property in your easy webinars webinar settings all right so let's just go ahead and uh, set a very uh, you know simple field name webinar join link uh, may i remind you that webinar join link is one of the custom fields which we set for easy webinar you know for webinars hosted by easy webinar let's just leave the group as general details let's just uh, leave the field type as text input and we click on add so as you see once that is done a webinar join link gets added to the you know gets concatenated to the list and uh, the code that you see here uh, corresponding to webinar join link i should assure you it's not jargon it's actually a short code which you would need to establish the integration we'll talk about it at a later point in this video so with this uh, said um, you know our part in active campaign is officially done now what we'll do is we'll go forward with uh, our easy webinar account as you can see i already have mine open and uh, you know you click on the profile icon which is visible in the top right corner of the screen if it's your v1 version if it's v2 version it would be displayed somewhere in the bottom left corner of the screen so let's just click on that and we get an option called integrations please click on integrations it's going to show you the list of crms which we have so let's click on the active campaign uh, icon now, uh, as you can see that to establish a connection, we are being asked for a URL and a key. Now, I had tested this out prior to the video, so we have the connection done already, but we're just going to go ahead and disconnect it because we want to do everything from scratch here, right? So remember at the start of the video, I had mentioned that it's very important to um, store the API URL and API key safely somewhere, right? So this is where it comes in handy. You copy the API URL, paste it here, and you copy the API key and place it here as well and you click on add the moment you do that uh, there's a message that displayed that you know your credentials have been verified updated now I always make it a point to reload my list and to reload my tag as well I do that because you know I don't want to encounter any issues when I'm trying to integrate and I have to go back and reload it again so it's always a better and safer to reload the tags and list beforehand just, just an extra uh, you know step of precaution so we update it just to ensure everything is fine and we are working perfectly. Now, the last step, one of the last steps that you have to take in order to uh, establish the connection of Easy Webinar with Active Campaign is to actually go back to your homepage. We're going to explore the V2 version, right? Let's just select an event in the V2 version because that is the version which we've launched launched recently and chances are majority of the users would be, would be going for that version. So let's just select an automated gold uh, webinar because that's my favorite category and let's just select um, benefits of yoga. So in order to ensure that the registered information from this webinar gets synced with the CRM, uh, which is active campaign here, it's important to establish that in the integration settings of your webinar. So we click on it. Uh, we click on active campaign because that's the CRM we're going to use and just give it a second. So we see here that, you know, we have the action value pair very similar to the one that we encountered in HubSpot. The difference here is in HubSpot, we were, you know, performing a set of actions. I'm sorry, we were performing a set of actions on a particular category of users and depending on those categories, 
category of users. We were adding them to a list. But this time we're going to see how we're going to add tags associated to those category of users, right? So it's going to be interesting. So um, the action value pair that I'm going to choose, let's just go ahead and delete it because I've, I've done this previously. So to start from scratch, let's add an action. Let's just say that for every registrant, or for every uh, person who registers for the webinar, I want to add a tag to him. And if we have set up everything properly here, then the tag testing 345 should appear on the list, right? Time for testing. Voila, we see 345 is there in the list, which means the integration has worked perfectly well. So what we're saying is, if a person registers for your webinar, we're going to associate a tag to him or her or to his or her details. And that's going to be the tag testing 345. And please don't forget to save. So this is how uh, the tag that we created in Active Campaign is coming in handy for um, you know for uh, the integration. Now, how are the fields that we created in um, Active Campaign going to come in handy here? Very simple. So you see something called Advanced Settings. You click on Advanced Settings, click on Default, right? Not Custom Fields, Default, and you see here that these are the custom fields that's allowed by or that's integrated you know with Easy Webinar. So what do you do? Very simple. You move over to uh, the webinar join link. Okay, this should ideally be empty and I set it up before. So what you should see here is you have to ensure that the field that you've created in uh, Easy Webinar should the name of that field should match with the custom field that is there in Easy Webinar. Perfect. So that's what I meant that the field, the field names, the property names for both of these, uh, you know, softwares must be the same for the syncing to happen. Now, how to establish the syncing? It's not going to happen automatically. So this a uh, technical jargon, the short code that we have, just copy it and paste it in the field value. The moment we do this, we initiate the integration between these uh, two soft pieces of applications and we click on save. So, um, now, if we scroll up, we see the short code has been, uh, you know, the field has been populated with the short code and we have the tag also associated with the registered uh, users. All right. So now that we have established the integration of EW, this particular webinar in EW with that of Active Campaign, how do we actually know if the integration has worked? Pretty simple. Just just register for the webinar. Right. So that's what we did. We went to the registration page, click on the registration page, and we signed up for this particular webinar using any credentials of our choice. So when we do that, we'll be shown this congratulatory message that you know you registered for the webinar. So what you've done essentially is you have uh, allowed your registrant information to pass into um, you know your CRM, which in this case is Active Campaign. So what should happen technically? The information should be stored in Active Campaign. So if we move over to uh, the tags option in Active Campaign account, we see that in the testing 345 associated with this tag, there's a new contact which has come in. So you click on the contact and you see these are the testing credentials we use for signing up for the particular webinar. If you want to know more about this contact, just get in here, click on it. And if you go down, you would see that this particular contact has the webinar join link with him or her. How did this happen? This happens because we set up the field in Active Campaign, which is webinar join link, and then we associated this field with the field in Easy Webinar through uh, the you know the customized field settings option that you find in you know while while you're setting up your webinar. So you've established the connection between. So that's why with your contact, you get the webinar, uh, you know, link as well. All right. So this is how we essentially, uh, you know, retrieve information about a particular candidate or a particular attendee. And we utilize it for our marketing funnel, sales funnel, revenue generation, etc. So, yeah, so this is pretty much all about Active Campaign. So we've learned about how we can integrate these two and how, you know, you can you can utilize your registered information uh, in your CRM. That's all for this video. We will be coming up with, uh, you know, a couple of more videos which will be focusing on, uh, you know, other important integrations. Still then, uh, I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. See you soon.